Yo, it's Jesse with Bowman Land Clearing. Uh, got this uh, job to do. It's literally next door. We'll be mulching right here. It's my next door neighbor. We got some big old rocks right here. So he wants me to come back and clean this lower side right here. Uh, I brought my mulch over. I sharpened the knives. My boy Grant gave me some pads, which those pads for the Seamoth grinder are expensive. So I got the uh, excavator on here now. So uh, it was foggy this morning, so run a little late. Shut up. So I'm gonna get in here without breaking something. Let's see if I can.
so this is the property next to us uh we got some big rocks where i was telling you about i'm gonna mulch this up and i'm gonna take some of these trees out these are nothing but pine junk so i'll show you the rocks i'm gonna get my excavator back here but i've got to get mulching in here so i might take these i think there's three of them so i'm gonna get these knocked out of the way so that way he can get in and keep it cleaned up let's go ahead and walk it So I'm gonna mulch some of this up, I'm gonna break all this stuff, break off the stuff overhanging. Right in the spider web. So I'm gonna mulch all this up right here. And can't really tell if there's two big trees. Well not trees, uh two big rocks, and there's some big rocks right here. So I'm probably gonna take this whole shelf right here get in here and rip everything up and mulch it up get on top mulch everything up rip everything back to mulch it up so i'm gonna clean this side up here so a big bowl right here because i cleaned the other side there's a pond and then there's a down slope and that's the lower side of the pond so we're gonna get back here and mulch what we can and then rip everything up with the excavator and uh because it's a bunch of dead pine so we'll be able to push a lot so i'm gonna come in clean this up and then that way i can come in here and just kind of clean this lower side there's a big rock and a mound right there so i'm gonna get in here and mulch this up and that way he can get uh get back here and look at the, the rocks All right, so I got more cut out, <clears throat> which I'm fixing to grab the excavator. Then that's where I do a little bit right here. Then I'm gonna go eat lunch. <clears throat> got this opened up pretty good bit. And then I'll show you some of the rocks I'm trying to get to. So there's a big mound, like a big mound that drops and picks back up. So this is my neighbors. Uh, so I've got, well, I say I got my parents has property next door. This is where I got chiggers and uh, they sucked. Then you can see the road right there where we came through. I call this the dragon back. This thing's huge. I'm 6'3", and it's way taller than that freaking tree. It's grew up right around it. This is where I came and played during the summer times. Ugh. I mean, these things are huge. I mean, there's so many of them. Probably dinosaurs back here somewhere. That's uh, two big rocks. You can walk on the back side. One of them looks like a dragon back. It's been a while since I've been back here. And got those over there. There's some big ones. And I will bet you money. This is snake territory. grab some lunch need some big old boulders got some right there we'll try to stack them somewhere well I got most of this ripped up so I got this ready for me to come back and mulch it up so didn't leave myself an out, so I left it over there. That's yeah, taken. Once we get this mulch stuff, then we'll uh, we'll have some nice room. So got all that ripped up, and then I'm gonna kind of clean down that way. But most of it is right here. He wants the rocks. All that 
to the rocks and then where he can get around it so that's what we're gonna do so let's go grab some lunch real quick and then we'll uh come back and uh finish it up finish up the rest of the day It's so hard uh, to get the <clears throat> get the footage I, I want to get, but I uh, ripped up this whole front side, and then my plan is to get all these dead pines, rip out that one, and then start raking all this stuff out that's like laid down right here. Just break it out, and I can go in and just kind of thin it out. And then I'm gonna just take all this stuff right in here, just rake it out, mulch it. There's about four trees. It's probably about 20 to 25 inch in diameter. Just gonna rake them out, mulch them up best I can, and that should finish it. And then we got to come back Sunday, which is tomorrow, and uh, get the tree that's in his mother's yard. It's right next door to him, so that way she ain't got to worry about mowing around it. So. That's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and get all this and then this down here and then all that and that over there. All right, so I got the up there, got those right there. Freaking wasp everywhere. And then got the um, front side. You see the car going by. Uh, <clears throat> got that down there. So once I get that mulch, I'm gonna push that out of the way because it's some pretty big trees so i'm gonna get in there and mulch all this and then mulch all that little scrubbery stuff just hit all this and then i'm gonna try to make my way right here last because there's a lot of rocks so i'm gonna get all this mulched up best i can get all this that way i'll have it cleaned up <clears throat> i have moved a bunch of rocks towards the rocks
out so here's what i got done gotta come back and fine tune a little bit i'm gonna spend tomorrow cleaning that just a little bit of that corner right there so that way they can get on the back side but this is what the what else they wanted done and uh we clean on the back side of the shop for a greenhouse he's wanting a greenhouse <clears throat> he does he's always done uh flowers and like plants and stuff like that tomato plants and all that good stuff <clears throat> for a garden so he wanted this cleaned up so i got it cleaned up uh i'm gonna rake out the rest of that probably another hour's worth tomorrow but uh a little bit more fine tuning with the excavator cleaning up mulching it so <clears throat> gonna get cleaned out but uh i got my pen this i keep losing these things right here i might have to tie them on there but uh <clears throat> we'll move these just push them out of the way so that way i can open this up and then uh got to cut a tree at his mom's house tomorrow so that's what we got that's what we're going to end with for today so stay tuned for tomorrow all right so day two but it's kind of that way i mean i could have finished up yesterday but i had to do something yesterday afternoon so i'm gonna try to get the dead stuff right here and then we got some right here and then I got to get where he can get over there at the rocks. So we're going to go ahead and get this dead stuff knocked down. And we got a few stumps he wants in, in his yard. And then we got to get that small tree up, which is a pine. But he said it was pretty much dead where he could pick it up. And it's, he said it's a big tree, so he can move it. We're going to go ahead and try to finish out the day. Today's Sunday, so I'm trying to hurry up and get stuff done.
so finished up the the dead logs right here that he wanted me to get it started raining now it's nice and messy there's the rocks we've got there's some more back that way uh but these are a bunch of them we're gonna get back here and clean them up that's what we got so nice good clean finish a little hilly but i threw a bunch of the big trees out of the way so this is a, a fun one so he said he's gonna have us do more i told him i said we need to start down that way so there's the pond so i cleaned around this side made trails for their four wheelers and then cleaned around the pond and then now they want me to start cleaning this down slope right here oops down the down slope and then up towards our house so yeah that's another another one in the books looking good and uh he said it will be back later on which it's been a year since the last time so no big deal he saved up a little bit and uh he got me come in here and clean this up so if we clean that lower side up it'll be nice and smooth the state park look out here making land great again so this is it so thank you for all the new subscribers i've been getting uh really appreciate all the the likes comments and everything so just keep sticking around and we'll just get bigger from here just because we do really good work and we show up we do what we say we're gonna do so and he's tickled to death about this one him and his wife so that's it so like and subscribe see you on the next one